Hello, welcome to another tutorial on basic OER or Open Educational Resources of the Department of Education. Again guys, let me repeat, OER is an offline application. It means we can use this one kahit hindi tayo connected sa internet. Okay, so are you ready to start our second tutorial? Let's start! Okay, so the second OER that I'm going to teach you is all about Word Search Puzzle using Word Search Puzzle Maker. Ito yung mga steps. After you install the software, just click immediately the icon, use the icon, and this will be your landing page. As you can observe, you have two columns. Unang column, ito yung mga items or number of items na pwede mo makreate. Meron kang 1 to 21. The second column naman indicates the word or the words na ipapahanap mo sa mga bata. Okay? Sa mga students mo. And sa nakikita nyo, in-encode na yung mga words na hahanapin ng mga students ko. Okay? Your words will based on your topic. So, para sa akin, ang topic ko is parts of the body. That's why I have head, shoulders, knees, and toes, mouth, ears, eyes, nose, hands, feet, stomach, eyebrows. Yan ang hahanapin nila. Okay, reminder lang guys, before you encode or type in your words here in the puzzle maker, make sure meron kayong own copy ng mga words din yun. In case na makalimutan nito, mahirap ang siya kalapit mo pag regenerate And I suggest you encode this in uh, Microsoft Word para hindi na talaga mawala. At meron talaga kayong guide. Later, tuturuan ko kayo or i-explain ko kung bakit sa Microsoft Word natin kailangan ni encode okay? Then, pag tapos na kayong mag-encode dito, kagaya ko, tapos na ako, Click the word search. Okay? So, you click natin and then mapupunta kayo dito sa page na to. Then, this will serve your landing page. And then, after that one, click the word generate. Ta-da! And, this is now your word search puzzle. Diba? Ang dali lang. Ang maganda dito is that you can generate many puzzles as you can. So, maganda talaga ni OPR. Thanks that I for this. Thank you sa gumawa nito. Ang brilliant. Ang idea niya na papagaan yung trabaho natin, guys. And at the same time, nag-e-enjoy ang mga bata natin. Or mga students natin. Okay? Kasi, na-exercise yung mga brain cells nila. Okay, so ito na. Ito na nga yung word search puzzle natin. Okay, ang maganda sa puzzle na ito, guys, is that Pwede nyo itong i-save as image. Nakita nyo ito. Ayan. Pwede nyo yun siyang i-download. Okay. So, the reason why na in-advise namin na i-encode yung mga words ninyo sa Microsoft Word para kapag nag gusto nyo na itong i-print, madaling na lang. Okay. Pero first, i-save muna as image ang word puzzle nyo. Hindi lang. Click this one. And then you will be asked saan yung isi-save. Ako gusto ko dito sa desktop. Okay, nagawa ko siya na. File me na. Picture. Picture 1. At isi-save ko. Okay. Aalis muna ako dito sa software natin. Pupunta ako dito sa desktop. And then, hahanapin ko yung Microsoft Word na file ko kung saan na-encode ko yung mga words. Ito guys, sample lang to guys, pero ito yung ginawa ko. Okay, ito na. Meron akong ginawang blank, hindi siya blank, pero ready to print na to siya. Sinulat ko na yung direction, find and circle all the direction words that are hidden in the grid. The words are hidden in any direction. Meaning, 
instruction ko. And then, nakasulat dito yung mga words na hahanapin nila. So, ngayon, hanapin naman natin yung picture na na-download natin ang yung image. Ano nga ba yun? Picture 1. Okay, so, bubuksan natin ko siya. Tada! At ito na yung word puzzle. Word search puzzle natin. So, click and copy. And then, this to siya dito sa Tadaan! Okay. Wrap text mo lang para hindi nyo ma-disturb yung wrap text at ito na nga. Meron ka na word search puzzle. So, anytime, pwede mo lang po siyang i-print at ipamigay sa mga students mo. Diba? Ganun lang kasi simple mga kaguro. Napaka-easy na na word search puzzle gamit ang OER. So, sana nagustuhan nyo ang um, tutorial namin this time sa word search puzzle. So, we're gonna see you on our next video vlog about OER. And guys, don't forget to subscribe on our channel, Sidekick TV. And i-click na lang din yung notification bell para you will be notified once meron na naman kami bagong tutorial video. And of course, since we are spreading the good vibes, i-comment down na rin, na rin yung DepEd email ninyo para ma-email namin yung software na mga apps natin. Okay? So, I do hope nag-enjoy kayo sa tutorial video natin today. So, I'm gonna see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and then like the video. So, thank you so much mga kaguro sa time niyo. Have fun and enjoy learning and teaching with your students. That's all for now. Goodbye!